NVIDIA P106 100 Dedicated Mining Cards Here I have two cases of MSI Dedicated Mining Cards P106. I'll go ahead and open up one of the cases. On the top of the case, we have an NVIDIA certificate, NVIDIA booklet. I'll take out one of the cards so we can take a closer look. As you can see, there are no display outputs. There is no backplate. Comes with a six pin connector for power. And that's about it. Pretty basic card. Two fans, heatsink. I also have the Galaxy card in hand, so I'll show you that. Again, two fans, heatsink, six pin power. No display outputs. No backplate. Here's my MSI mining rig, put it together with one of my new 6 GPU rig frames. On a TB250 motherboard, you can see I'm using the DVI output on the motherboard. And here you can see the stock card running on Claymore's Ethereum miner, getting about 20 mega hashes per second at about 750 watts. That's of course including the motherboard, CPU, fans on the frame. And here you can see the six cards with an 800 megahertz memory overclock and about 100 megahertz core overclock, 99. It's pulling about 820 to 830 watts and getting about 24 mega hashes per second. Sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more. So generally these cards are doing the same as a regular 1060 six gigabyte card would do. Here is EWBF Zcash Miner running on stock clocks, pulling about 820 to 830 watts and getting just under 300 solutions per second. Again, the same as a regular 1066 gigabyte card. And here are the cards with a slight core overclock of 220 megahertz 
and they're getting about 310 solutions per second at about the same wattage, 220 to 230 watts. So again, the same as a 1060, six gigabyte version. These cards are nothing too much to worry about. If you can still get a 1060, six gigabyte version for a good price, I would recommend doing so. Otherwise, these are a good option for mining. So I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.